Alright, well good morning. It's good to see you all here on the stream. Um, I uh, received an email about a stu uh, from a student about a specific type of question and it was a simplifying rational expression question which I'll show here on the screen. Uh, and I just wanted to take you through that and uh, show you how you can simplify uh, products or quotients of rational uh, expressions. So here's the problem that was asked. It was simplify this product which is x minus 8 over x squared plus 64 times x plus 8 divided by x squared minus 64. Now when you're given the instructions to simplify something like this uh, the first thing that you should consider is can you factor either of the denominators or any of the denominators uh, that we see here. So we've got x squared plus 64 and x squared minus 64. Can we simplify either of those? From experience, you might think to yourself, no, I cannot simplify this uh, simply because this is the sum of two squares. Um, that is not simplifiable in, uh, in a real number setting. Um, but this second one, this is a difference of squares. And so this one, it maybe is recognizable that this is factorable uh, quite quickly, actually. If you have two squares, here we've got x squared, and here we've got 8 squared. If there's a difference between two squares, then you can always factor it as the difference of those two times the sum of those two those two numbers, those two objects, those two things that are being squared. This, this always happens, right? This is, this is always the case. So now we just need to identify what is being squared. We've got an x, so this a, we'll, we'll say that's our x, and we've got 64. Now the square root of 64 is 8, so this b is actually 8. So we're going to factor this denominator here on the right into x minus 8 times x plus 8. Okay, so that follows exactly the pattern that we see here, and it actually makes this problem quite simple, right? Because now this x squared minus 64, we're just going to replace that with what we've factored it into x minus 8 times x plus 8. And so now when we treat this like a multiplication problem, we multiply across the top, so that gives us x minus 8 times x plus 8 in the numerator. We multiply across the bottom. We couldn't factor this x squared plus 64, so it remains a factor on its own times the other denominator right this this is our penultimate result here we look at this and we think we've got a product of two things up top we've got a product of three things on the bottom and so now we can start canceling factors that both have in common and we see that there's an x minus 8 and an x plus 8 in common. So these cancel out. We're left with a 1 on top because we've canceled every factor. And that gives us our final result. It's 1 over x squared plus 64. You know, in, in any problem like this where you've got a product of rational expressions, the first step is going to be first step is, is always going to be, you know, try to factor the numerator and denominator. Okay, this is, this is the very first thing that you should do, right? And uh, we did that in this problem. We couldn't factor the denominator on the left. We could factor the denominator on the right. The numerators are already factored. Okay, it's, it's just one binomial in either of them, so we, we're not going to factor that at all. Uh, 1b, pay attention to special cases you've seen or patterns you're familiar with. 
right? So we see this special pattern. There's another one for um, for you know what what this looks like if you have a minus b times a minus b. There's another one for what this looks like if it's a plus b times a plus b. Uh, and then you've got just your generic uh, pattern, right? If you've got if you've got um, just any old trinomial, that trinomial pattern of, of factoring, I hope you're familiar with. You can use the quadratic formula to help you factor. But pay attention for things like this to help you do the factoring. And then the second step is canceling common factors. Um, canceling common factors, uh, like we did in this, right? So you can always cancel common factors on the top and bottom of a fraction if there's no sums or differences between terms, right? So in this example, we could cancel what we had there um, because there's no sum on top and there's no sum on bottom. But if we had something like this, let me just give a quick example, one plus two times three, a numerical example, divided by two times three. Um, we can't, we can't cancel the two and the three to give us this, one plus one. Right? We can't do this without also doing something to this one. So be careful if there's sums or differences in either the numerator or the denominator because you can't just willy-nilly cancel out factors. Now you've got to make sure that you've got a product up here and a product down here. Then you can cancel common factors. And that's sort of the, the how-to for um, simplifying any rational expression uh, that's multiplied by another or divided by another. Just remember you'll flip the second one if there's a division there and then you'll multiply it instead. Um, but that's the general strategy and the general outline of how to solve uh, these simplification problems and a nice example to go with it. So I hope that helps and I'll see you next time.